Hey guys, welcome to Inside the Edition. We're talking about March. I'm Matt De Silva, editor in chief of Lacrosse Magazine. I'm joined by Megan Schneider, our staff writer. And uh, one of the big themes of this issue was next level thinking. We were looking at the college lacrosse landscape, really trying to find people who were pushing the envelope, the unconventional thinkers, so to speak, in college lacrosse. And Megan, one of the places that landed us was Louisville and our cover subject, Kaylin Morissette. Yep, last year Louisville was the number one team in draw controls, and why was that? Because Kaylin Morissette, she has this very specialized training regimen that they have set up for her. Um, 31 exercises, um, go through plate flips, light board, very specialized, and that hasn't really happened in the past few years. One of the main reasons that was, because 2012 there was a rule change, three on the circle, one in the middle taking the draw, and she's a perfect prototype for that because she grew up playing box cross with the boys, started her home high school team, and she learned under the tutelage of Chris Miller. Yeah, it must be a Canadian thing because our other big cover, our other big feature subject is Matt Brown over at Denver. Long been considered one of the brightest minds in the game. He's an assistant coach there, the unofficial coach in waiting for uh, for Bill Tierney there, and Tierney all but said so in the story. Matt Brown really does some unique things with his offensive principles. He does it, did it for Team Canada over the summer as well, helping them to a gold medal. And Corey McLaughlin really got in depth with some, in, in some of those philosophies. He's truly someone who's, who's pushing the envelope on that level. And, and one of our, actually, he's referenced elsewhere in the magazine by Ryan Boyle. He's our resident columnist from Trilogy Lacrosse. Um, Ryan talks about Denver being one of the few teams that does anything truly revolutionary on the field. Uh, it's part of his overall uh, principle that he wished more college coaches did revolutionary things. He looks at a couple of different ways they could do so with the new 30 second timer on scenario. So it's just kind of a, a, a theme that binds this entire edition. We're looking at some of the, the, just the brightest and most uh, unconventional minds in lacrosse. In our year age instructional content, we have some good players that are going to teach you some new tips. We've got Hopkins, Longpole, Mike Pellegrino and how to pick up some ground balls. Um, and then on the women's side, we have Team USA's Caitlin Cabada and how to tips on how to scramble off the draw. So it also related back to Caitlin's story. Another feature we're pretty excited about here is uh, the official Lax Girl. And in case you haven't seen her or followed her on Twitter, you're one of the few. She has some 13,000 followers, almost as many as Rob Pinnell. Her name is Teriro Kanamiri. Uh, she plays at Sewanee down at the University of the South and that wouldn't be as noteworthy as it is. She's just this social media icon right now within our sport and just an absolute pleasure to talk to. She was here in our offices. She spent two days with our videographer Josh Rotman and um, Mark Masick did a, did a bang up story on, on her. She's, she's originally from Zimbabwe. By way of Maryland, she winds up at Tennessee and originally from Zimbabwe and she's very honest and frank and, and candid about how she doesn't necessarily look like the prototypical lacrosse player. She doesn't look like the official lax girl. Uh, she used to kind of hide behind the handle a little bit, uh, but she's been, made more of a point to show people who she is, what she's about, and I've never seen or met anybody with a purer love of the sport. And so that's a really cool feature in this edition. That's it for this episode of Inside the Edition. I'm Matt DeSilva, she's Megan Schneider. And be sure to check out our YouTube channel and laxmagazine.com for just tons of supplementary content and video going along with this edition of Lacrosse Magazine. This is where I get ready in the morning. Some of my girly stuff, perfume, makeup, nail polish. But also What's up guys, I'm Kyle McClendon. I'm a senior for Fairfield Men's Lacrosse. And today I'm gonna teach you about the jump shot down the alley.